Hi all. I'd like to talk about you today in a, a different way. I've been checking what's been going on in the office for the last several weeks and taken some notes. And I'd like to start by saying something that uh, many of you have heard from me before. I could take drugs and alcohol out of your life. I'll never be able to take food out of your life. And therefore, if we're going to be happy, if we're going to be comfortable, I have to help you live with food rather than the reality of not having food at all. The second part has to do with, call them statistics. Over the last several weeks, I've noted down 23 women who've come in, lost nothing, lost half a pound, put on a pound, basically speaking, not being overtly or outwardly successful on the program. But when I looked at their behavior, I had the opposite reaction. In fact, one this morning, she's not been here for two weeks, she lost a pound and a half, and she indicated to me that she had been involved in several circumstances from parties to a wedding, and over that two-week period, all she put on, and I say it in a most positive way, one and a half pounds. And she apologized to me for putting on weight. This is the focus and epitome of what I have been trying to get through to you about. Those 20 plus women were extremely successful. Had they not been taking care of themselves, had they not been paying attention, I have no idea how much weight they would have added. What they did add, however, on a personal basis was negligible. What is a pound, a pound and a half when one is doing anything and everything. And they were not doing anything and everything. They went to these activities. They participated in them. They said to me that for the most part that they enjoy themselves. They were somewhat controlled on a, an awareness basis. The key is not one of them was able to give their own personal self a pat on the back. Tell me, if we take the weight off and don't keep it off, does it make a difference that we've taken it off? Learning has to take place. Caring about yourself has to take place. And the way for us to be successful together is to be together. On a regular basis, I have been coming to you and saying, we as a community an accurate community need to interact. That means verbalize, communicate with each other. 
We need to be supportive of each other, but we can't be supportive of each, supportive of each other unless we interact and communicate. Let me see the emails. Let me hear the phone calls. Let me answer the questions. Let's do it, guys, and let's enjoy our success. Thank you.